Hello traders and welcome to the Forex boat. In this video, we will be talking about how to avoid false breakouts. To understand how to avoid false breakouts, we need to understand what is a breakout and what it must break in order to become a breakout, which we will discuss in this video. You will also learn what kind of breakouts there are and the ways to confirm the legitimacy of a breakout and finally how to trade these breakouts. And before we get started, please subscribe to our channel to follow all the videos that we do every day, including market analysis, education and live trade examples. Okay, so what is the breakout? So imagine we have a trend and the breakouts would be the break above the previously made high or the low. So the breakout might occur in either direction. For example, in an uptrend, this will be the breakout, but price could be heading lower. For this, we need obviously to break the previously made low and here would be the breakout. Again, on the upside, we will have the breakout here, but if the market reverses and goes down, that would be our breakout. So these breakouts usually indicate the change in trend. And many, many cases, what we will see is that there is, for example, a trend, then it's starting to consolidate. Okay. And then we see something like that. So we broke above the resistance area formed here, and then price goes immediately down. So while many people would enter long position somewhere here, or even at this stage where the previous resistance was expecting it to become the support, price just goes down or even reverse the trade. So these are the cases that we might see every single day. And this is why traders are wondering what to do when you see the break above the previous resistance or support and where to act, what to do, how to avoid or spot that this is not in fact the continuation of the trend or in this case, how to confirm that this is in fact a trend reversal. So let's look at the specific example on the euro versus the dollar. And we can clearly spot support resistance levels at this chart specifically. And here is our resistance, probably a little bit lower. Remember that resistance and support, these are areas, not the lines. And we're having yet another support right there. And there was the range trading. As we can see, there was a daily break and close below. This was in fact a breakout occurred right there. And what to do in this case of scenario is to look for the volume, because what we want to see is the heavy volume when price is breaking. Let's add the volume indicator. Just go to indicators, type volume and choose volume. As you can see, the volume here is very big because we can compare it to the previous volume and we clearly see it's above average volume. And this is exactly what we need. We need these sort of confirmations that the volume has been high because in many cases there, there are breakouts where the volume is very, very low. And this is not a confident breakout in my personal opinion. So I would look for these heavy volumes. While the, you had this volume extremely strong, you had this confirmation. Now, the only thing you need to do is to find the perfect opportunity for this. I do like using the Fibonacci retracement indicator. So let's add it and I would use the top of the range. So we have this top of the range, which I would use to draw my fibs and I would draw it to the bottom. Now you can imagine that at this point in time, there would be, I would place probably the Fibonacci right there, but as price continues to move, we adjust it adjusted, adjusted. As soon as we see the correction going on, we stop adjusting. So we have it fixed. Now, the main point here is to go with the FIPS. And as we can see, there was a Fibonacci at 38.2, clearly corresponding to the previous level of support. And this is where most traders would enter and they, they would be right because this is a good entry point usually. But what I personally like to do is to go for the highest correction point, which is 88.6 FIPS. In my case, what I would do is to go for this sort of entry where we can enter the trade at 88.6. So I would place the limit order at this 
price 88.6 now we need to find out what our take profit and stop loss now, obviously the resistance was here so i need to have it just above the resistance maybe few pips higher that would be enough in regards to the take profit usually what we need to do is calculate how wide was this range and as you can see this this is the width of the range so i just clone it and go to the breakout point so this is our target level and i can adjust it now down to this target and we would have trade like this so this is our trade setup now look this was a pretty good entry i mean it was an excellent entry with a risk reward ratio of eight this is just awesome this is the best you can get you could also have a trade entered at this point but now you can calculate your risk to reward ratio and in this case it would be pretty bad if you want to have your stop loss here above this resistance so most people would probably enter right there and have a stop loss just above the next FIPS and your trade would look something like that. Obviously, you would get kicked out still. So look at these highs prior to the breakout and this is the stop loss. Then you can adjust your trade accordingly. You can have it lower. Just see what is the risk reward ratio. For example, I could get my entry as low as 61.8 FIPS so it would be approximately here my entry with the risk reward of two so still a good entry point and this could be considered so make sure you calculate what is the risk to reward ratio and only enter if it suits strong risk to reward profile so this was the trade setup which as you can see was pretty good now another way to confirm the breakout is to look at the trend so we want to trade in the direction of the trend. We need to see these breakouts down if it's a downtrend or break to the upside if it's an uptrend. For this, I'm using moving averages, which are usually 250 simple moving averages. What we see is the 200 period. We had a golden cross here on the daily time frame, 50 crossed below the 200. But all in all, we need this setup that 50 is below the 200. And the price is below 200 so this is the ideal setup for for the shorting because we have everything in place and even volume confirmed and we're just waiting for the pullback to enter the trade this way you will avoid entering at this low which usually resulting in a heavy drawdown or most likely the loss so you need to trade in the direction of trend in order to avoid the false breakout even if it's a false well the thing is guys i'm not sure if there is such a thing as false breakouts because if there is a breakout there is one you can see it i mean it just the way but but maybe some news came up and it changed the sentiment in the market that's it the breakout occurs and you just trade it but the thing is you need to have multiple confirmation that it in fact it was the breakout like if we go to the one hour chart and here look for the breakout we need to spot obviously the support resistance so this was our previously made resistance and we had a breakout you can see that at this stage there was a high volume but at the same time there was no break above the resistance there was only spike so what we would have is the break at this stage which is under very very small volume so in my book i would not trade it i need a strong volume for example something like here we had a strong volume we had the previously made support there was a breakout and this could have been a good entry although what i would use obviously after the breakout i would use fibonacci retracement level apply it to this high and all the way right there and i would wait for the, my entry at 88.6 FIPS so right there that would be my setup but as you can see price did test the downside target because we had this move prior to the breakout and if I just clone it we can see that the price did reach the target exactly so I would no longer have my limit order for the sell now the most recent price action i think it's very interesting because we're looking at the live market we have the support and what we might be witnessing is the reversal breakout because there are two types of breakouts it's either continuation or the reversal breakout continuation as we have spoken about is when price is 
going with the trend. This is the safer way to trade and the safer way to confirm the breakout and you will have less false breakouts because you're going with the trend. In regards to the reversal breakout, it is much more dangerous, although it could provide a very good opportunities because if it's a reversal price can go sharply down. But you must remember that it's always more risky to go against the trend and to avoid false breakout, it is always better to stick with the trend. So in our case, we had the breakout of the range trading. So here we have resistance, we have support, and this is the range breakout. And we're coming up to the kind of the breakouts, what what price is actually breaking. So this is a, these are patterns, or it can be support and resistance, or the trend line, or the channel, or the range. So in our case, we have support resistance, and this is breakout of the support in our case. At the same time, we can trade the breakout of the trend line. Why not? Because we will have the trend line, and of yet again, this rejection confirming that there is a support, there is another bounce, and now we have a double breakout or triple first off we have a breakout of the support previously formed we have a breakout of the trend line confirmed we have the breakout of the 50 simple moving average there are multiple breakouts of multiple indicators which adds extra confidence that this is a valid breakout so the more tools you use for your breakout the more confidence you will have we can add even channel to that to make sure but the channel would look flat. So yeah, also we have a channel breakout and maybe we can find a pattern as well. Some, some sort of pattern that is broken. And this way you will have multiple confirmations. But what we're missing here, guys, if you haven't noticed, is the trading volume. The volume here has been poor. Now, not only volume, also we forgot to confirm it on higher time frames. Because if we trade in one hour chart, we need to confirm it at four chart good breakout was right there so it's a confirmed breakout on one hour chart but i would like to emphasize my personal view is we need to have daily breakout disregarding the time time frame you're trading i mean if you start with one hour obviously if you're scalping trading one five 15 minute chart it did it doesn't work but if you start with one hour chart i always look for the daily break and close either above or below in our case, we had a daily break and close. So just recently, this was our breakout confirmation price. Let's go to one hour chart. So only there we would have the confirmation of the breakout. Now, what I would do is obviously put 88.6 FIPS and wait for it. Now, if I go to this bottom, guys, look, this is just perfect. This is what we need. Your entry, your limit order, you would start putting your limit order once the price would here and your limit order would be at 121.69 but no price didn't reach that level but we see price went lower so we adjust the fips and this is where you place your short position so sell right there stop loss above this previously made high and take profit yet again we can calculate based on the previously produced range so this is our range and we just need to use it for profit target but now, at the same time, what we can see is that we already reached the downside target for this range. For this reason, this would not be an entry for a sell, although you can see that it worked out pretty good in terms of the correction, where the price did correct. At the same time, no entry because target has been tested. You need to pay attention to that. And the other thing I didn't like, of course, is the low volume on this breakout because here we did break, but look at the volume. Now let's go to some examples of actual false breakout. And we can clearly see it here. There was the resistance, multiple rejections, one, two, three. Breakout and then what price did is went down sharply how to spot whether it was a fake or not first we look at the volume trading volume the trading volume was pretty low so straight away i would be very cautious in trading that because of the low volume another thing is we need to check the daily closing price where was that if there was a confirmed breakout on the daily time frame let's go today and guys as you can see there was no daily break and close there was this spike 
but then price went down. So always use the daily time frame to confirm the breakout. And what we had is the breakout at this price. This is a confirmation of the breakout of this resistance. Now let's go to the one hour chart again. Okay, so we have this breakout on the daily time frame, which I can mark with the arrow. This is the daily closing price, which confirmed that it closed above the previously made high. So this was a false breakout simply based on the higher time frame analysis. In fact, it was not a fake breakout. There was no breakout at all. There was no confirmation. So there was no point in entering that. All right there, we had the breakout confirmation. And what would we do is use FIPS. So I would use the lowest point well, this is the actual support. This is the range. As we can see, there is a support and resistance and we can clearly mark it. And we are yet again applying simple FIBs to this move. And what we see is levels of FIBs that could be of interest for you. In my personal book, I would be using 88.6 FIBs, which is quite a long way to the downside, although you would have the best risk to reward ratio. And as you can see, it's right at the bottom of the range. And that could have been my entry with a target approximately here. So that that's the trade setup. Yet again, we see that the risk reward ratio is nine. It's huge usually, but not many cases price will get towards 88.6. And we can use rejections of moving averages we can use rejections of other fibonacci retracement level most commonly the previous level of resistance becomes the support in an uptrend in an upside breakout so this level is of interest after there is a confirmation and of course most interesting price for buyers would be here although it will not give you the best risk to reward ratio so you must understand it you will have confirmation but the risk reward ratio would be quite poor because if we go to the potential target so this is our range what could be our target so this is at approximately 11970 i will adjust it so that would be our target and if we enter at this price in order to meet risk reward ratio of at least two our stop loss is just below 61.8 fips I would not say this is ideal, although it is decent stop loss, but still the risk to reward ratio, you can see that only two. If we want to have a stop loss below the previously made low, our risk to reward ratio is 0.9. Not so attractive at all. And this is the reason you want to wait for these decent corrections and you want to have confirmation under the strong buying pressure. Like here, price did break to the upside. You can see this was quite an abnormal volume. Now, another thing to consider is when the price attempting to break, you also have a very strong volume, although it failed to break. So there was the rejection even with this all strong volume, suggesting that the support is holding. Now you wait and see. So there was a break above the previously made high under the strong volume. And it's just a matter of how deep the price will correct, where you will find this best entry point. We can also trade, as I said, breakouts of the trend lines, but this will be reversal breakout, which is higher risk. And in our case, we can add a trend line. We can calculate where was the breakout, more like the same as we had previously with the range trading. So this is our rejection of the trend line. And what we need to confirm to break this trend line is obviously break below this low. Our target, of course, we're taking the top of the trend line to the, to the point of rejection. And this would be our target. As you can see, it has been tested right there. In regards to the stop loss, well, we would need to place it above because the breakout occurred here. But another thing with the trend lines, what we need to, to consider is that after you see these breakouts, you need to make sure that there was no break and close above the previously made high. So it's getting more complicated. And in our case, on the hourly chart, we had a break and close above. But as I said, guys, always check the daily time frame. Very important. If you start trading with a one hour chart, three, four, five, whichever, check the dailies. This is the best confirmation to avoid false breakout because most traders do consider daily closing price as the confirmation, not one hour, not four hours, but the daily. So it's a very important 
time frame well a lot of information has been said i hope you enjoyed this information if you, if you did if you found something interesting something new if you learned something click the like subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash the notification bell not to miss the next video that we will be doing very soon so stay tuned guys and we'll talk to you very soon